In this tutorial, we're going to see how we can use the audio patch bay to route audio out from a door into an iPad as a VST and then back again. And then we'll also see how we can route audio between two iPads. In a moment, we're going to send the output from this Jupyter 8 VST via the iConnect MIDI to an iPad as an outboard effects processor and then back into our door. For the moment, let's see what this sounds like simply by driving it again via the iConnect MIDI 4 Plus using the X key keyboard, which is connected via the host port. And that's not too bad. What I'd like to do, perhaps, however, is to change it with an effect. Notice that I'm sending the output to main out at the present time. I'll need to change that so that it's being sent to the iPad via the iConnect MIDI 4 Plus. I've got one of my iConnect MIDI 4 Plus output audio channel pairs set up here, and then I can select that in here as the way that I send audio to the iPad. Let's take a look and see what's happening on the iPad side of things. Here I'm going to start Audio Bus, and in Audio Bus I'm then going to choose my input channel as simply the audio input, which will come from the iConnect MIDI 4 Plus. I'm going to choose the output, which again will go back to the iConnect MIDI 4 Plus, and I'm going to use the Ultra Phaser effect program to give me a phaser effect, and that's going to be the effect that I'm going to apply to my a Jupiter 8 sound in just a moment. Let's see what that looks like. Bring the application up. You can see that's a nice slow moving phaser effect. In iConfig I presently only have the outputs from the two iPads going to the input channels in the door. To get the output from the door into the iPad I'm going to send the main out pair which is 3.1 and 3.2 into the stereo pair for channels 1 and 2 into the second iPad, which is where I have this FX app running. Now we're going to send the output from the Jupyter 8 to the iConnect MIDI 4 Plus channel stereo pair that's going to the second iPad. Then we're going to record the output from that second iPad into our door, and that will apply the outboard effects on the iPad to the Jupiter 8, and we'll hear the effect of that in a moment as we record the result. So there we have our iPad being used as an outboard effects processor for a VST running it in a door. And that happens because we've set the routing for the audio patch bay in iConfig to allow the iConnect MIDI 4 Plus to route that audio for us transparently. Now we're going to route the audio in audio pass-through mode between an audio bus chain running on this iPad to another audio bus chain running on this iPad. We're going to do that via the iConnect MIDI 4 Plus by setting the patch bay options to allow the output from this iPad to go through the iConnect MIDI 4 Plus and then out into the input of this iPad. Then through the phaser effect, and then from there, the output going to my door via the iConnect MIDI 4 Plus. To achieve this in iConfig, I go to the audio patch bay, where as you can see I have nothing set right now, and now what I want to be able to do is to choose the output from a given iPad, in this case the output from iPad 1, and I'm going to send that to the input channels of iPad 2, and then I'm going to send the output channels of iPad 2 to my door as I did before to record the result there. Now that I have the audio pass-through set up between the two iPads, let's listen to the result. So with the iConnect MIDI 4 Plus 
and the correct settings in the audio patch bay, you can now route audio between two iPads. This is an effective way of using particularly older devices where you can set up two different audio bus chains with each iPad being used to its maximum potential. And then you can send the output of that to a door for recording on your Mac or PC.